Hello everyone, welcome back to the Ness River Railroad. So here we have the second attempt. I haven't got footage of the first attempt. The second attempt of running a loaded coal train up the newly rebuilt loop on the extension. So we'll just watch the... Uh... Now I know it's loaded heading up to the tipple, but I just haven't got the energy to take all the loads out right now. <laughs> So just bear with me here, eh? Right? So this all should run quite well, all things going to plan. I think the only thing that might catch me out might be a bit of dirty track. We'll see how that goes though. So there's the tail end. We'll come around to this side. Here we are. Here's the head end coming up. So this is my trusty scale trains Jevos. with my full coal rake. But I've actually moved the DPU further up the train. It seems to work a lot better than having it directly in the middle, halfway down. So there we are. I'll lift the camera up a bit here. And we'll just see if this all goes up according to the grand plan. So yeah, you can see the uh, spline work has made the curve a lot more even. Um, especially up around there, which is where I was having problems. So once I've run this train through it, I'm going to try something else that will really see if I've got it sorted out. But so far, so good. Everything seems to be going well. Uh, running on about, or not about, running on 25% throttle here. I haven't touched the throttle since I started, so I'm not having to, you know, amp it up to get the train up the hill or anything. So that's all going quite well. Right, the whole train is now back on the grade because of course this bit through here is flat. No separation at this point in time. We go up to the head end. See if he gets through here fine. So far so good. I'm just gonna let him go over there. There's the DPU. Come over to here. And let's see, we're up at the tipple now. Let's see if everything comes through swimmingly or not. Okay. It's absolutely cruising now. So I think the changes that I've made to the grade and those curves has really paid off. It's been a pain, but I think this is proof in the pudding. Well, the proof is in the pudding. You know what I mean. So here we go. No separations. And what's that, six? There we have it. Everything up. And on the grade, off the grade I could say, heading past, past all of the mess, back down. I might just ease him up now, seeing as we've made it up. And he can sit up here for a second. All right. I've still got the tripod set up from when I took my photo the other day for the community page. But there you go. I'll uh, end this little section off and then I'll have a chat about what we've done. Okay everyone so there we go the loop rebuilt. A lot of work for what looks like not much reward but the train does run up here a lot better uh, the long coal drag. Uh, you can see here just by using the <clears throat> spline I've got a lot more um, consistent curves it is tighter and narrower in spots but there's no real sort of tied down kinky bits, kinky bits, or tight bits like I had in the old section. So you can see there, the cookie cutter, it was a lot tighter there. Through here was uh, not too bad, but it still was sort of a bit of a pinch there. And then the worst spot though was up here. So you can see there and where the old curve would come out under here, and now how much more open that is. So 
I'm really happy with the results. Um, I've opened up the curve here a bit, so I'm gonna have to take off this fascia and increase the width of the board there. And I might do the same here, I'm not sure about that. I don't know, it is pretty good. So yeah, but we could see just how easily that uh, big long coal train just went up the grade. The bad spot used to be just in here where the grade and the too tight radius used to put so much pressure on the couplers that it often just break apart and zoosh, back down. So yeah, I'm really, really quite happy. Um, in an ideal world, I would have loved to have been able to put my big steam locos up here, but I tried it and it, they still just don't like the combination of the grade and the fairly tight radius. I mean, Kato say they can go to a 12 inch radius, but they just don't really like it. So, um, I mean, they go up the, they go up that loop, okay. Uh, but that loop is, although it doesn't look it, is significantly bigger. Uh, I mean, the main, the main there is, I think even up there, it's about 20 inches uh, uh, radius. So it's a lot bigger. Okay, uh, but I guess I'm sort of treating this as a, 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 a branch liner extension up to the coal tipple. So just the coal trains will go up, I guess. And then my big steam trains can remain down on the rest of the layout when they come out for time to time for a excursion trip. So, and yeah, now I've got the extension up and running again. Guess what I've got to do, which I say in about every second video, I've got to get in and clean up my mess. All right, so there you have it, everyone. <laughs> Just come out into some woolly weather. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that's gone. Yeah, like I said, I would have liked to have been able to put my steam train up there, but oh well, maybe not. If I was gonna do that, the radius that I would have to use because it's up against the wall and I can't reach around it like I can on the peninsula, would have just been too too big. And I didn't want a bit that I couldn't get to and I'm not gonna cut in a little manhole cover or anything like that. So there you go. The excursion trains might just be limited to the uh, lower deck. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for all your comments. I still find it rather humbling how much enjoyment a lot of you guys get out of my layout. And yeah, a bit woolly here this afternoon. But yeah, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, like, comment, all that sort of stuff. Make it so I'm not quite so backlit there. And yeah, back into night shift for me tonight. So yeah, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you're doing well. Look after yourselves and we'll see you next time. Cheers.